fantastic opportunity for UK universities to really showcase the best of what they have to give to the world, which is of course their students. Uh, the initiative behind the Dragon's Den this afternoon was really trying to identify what is the best way to demonstrate the quality and high educational um, accolade that our universities in the UK really have. It's about these people driving the new economy. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, my name is Andrew and I'm here today to tell you about Rapid Sports, a design and composite manufacturing company which aims to make the best bespoke economy equipment in the world. It's been a great day today, we've learned so much, we've been great to meet Doug Richards, um, get some advice from him as well, it's kind of invaluable. It's the risk you simply have too small a market for someone to want to invest, that's a risk, not necessarily the case. He's nervous, it's just sort of how you tackle it and I think if you just install your passion into your nerves and just think, okay, this is my one shot. Our third uh, contestant uh, this afternoon is Felicity Milton of Loughborough University. Felicity will introduce you to 1.6. One third of participants exercise regularly. Seven million people are in the gym three times a week. Fifteen million adults play weekend sports. Whilst half the global population suffers from some form of venous disorder, of which 8 million UK patients are currently hospitalised, the 3 in 1 recovery and performance leave provides a sustainable solution that uniquely combines the practical convenience of a wearable and washable sock with the medical effectiveness only found in much better machines and ice baths. Pretty nerve wracking when you hear it streaming live and you've got the dragons obviously going to grill you after your presentation, let alone the presentation itself. London 2012, especially, it's been great to be here promoting squash, promoting racquetball, two sports that we love and we know there's hundreds of thousands, millions of people around the world love these sports. It's been good to get squash and racquetball word out there uh, to people that possibly don't know too much about the sport, influential people. They will be able to go away having said that they've promoted and presented their business idea to a global audience within London 2012 at one of the most amazing venues in the UK. So the overwhelming winner is Felicity Milton. Yeah, I'll look at restructuring my business model and also perhaps change the um, negotiations with the, with the driver and the investor to perhaps have a small percentage of the <laughs> Good luck with your negotiations, ladies and gentlemen. Um, in terms of a consumer product that had the medical credibility of much less accessible, more costly products. I think the students have been blown away. There's no other way to describe their response to not only when they walked into Lancaster House, but just the opportunity to stand up in front of such an amazing audience. I'd definitely try and start up whilst I was at uni. Um, I think once you have got over that initial step of starting up, then the ideas just come flooding. So I think the earlier you can start, the better it is, really. It's actually easier to start a company within a university with the support and network for so many governmental schemes. And just today, meeting people you know, on the board of the NHS and getting into that, and that's one of my huge markets. And you can't just knock on the door and go in um, to that sort of organisation. The opportunity that students have nowadays to get real support, guidance and mentorship from their universities is fantastic. It gives them a real opportunity to get a good base in their new businesses and as we are here in London at London 2012, it is great.